Welcome everybody. I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of watchadvisor.com and uh, today I am five kilometers away from Schaffhausen, the other city where they do watches. And uh, we are in Neuhausen. With me is Edouard Melan. Welcome, Edouard. Thank you. You are in charge uh, of uh, Moser and Company. You bought it with your, your family bought the, the company. Your father with your father together mm -hmm. and you are the ceo here mm -hmm. um moza is a for me very fascinating brand because you have a very different approach to many things how you do the watches how you see them how you position them you even take the logo out of the dials Some so there's the models, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you in brief give me your vision about what for you is moza and company Oof. Oof, i know it's how different. much time you have Uh, oh, not too much before they fall asleep. <laughs> okay. I'll be brief. <clears throat> no, for me, it's, uh, I think it's, it's quite simple. I think uh, Moser is a 190 years old brand. Uh, I, I like to see it a little bit as a startup, in the sense that we are small, in independent, family-owned, fam fam uh, family-financed, and that brings a few parameters to what we, we, we can do. And um, As you will see, we are an in integrated uh, manufacturer. Um, you will visit, you will see some uh, of what we do. We pretty much do everything in the movements. That's our specialty. And, and it goes back to uh, 190 years ago when the brand was started by Heinrich Moser. Uh, we are the specialist in creating amazing uh, mechanical watches. And, uh, and what we try to do today is still to, to build on this heritage, uh, but bring something sexy, mm. something modern, something different. As an independent brand, we have no choice but to be different if we want mm -hmm. to survive. We need to do things um, with, you know, our, our guts, with, um, with mm -hmm. our spirit. Mm -hmm. And we have a rather young, um, how should I say, free spirit, mm -hmm. star startup mm -hmm. style mm -hmm. team. Reason why we create products like we do and reason why we communicate the way we do. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, yeah, we, we'd like to be the traditional manufacturer with a sexy touch. Okay. Um, Edouard is able to sell a watch without any logo on the dial. And uh, what you told me, uh, the best thing is if your client gets your ambassador. So your client or a Moser client buys the watch without a logo. There's nothing on the dial. You don't see anything. So you must know what you're wearing on the wrist. But people who buy the watch are so enthusiastic that they are beginning to be your ambassadors and tell your stories. Well, it's not specific to Moser. I think we all in the high-end luxury or in the watch industry, we sell emotions, we sell stories, we sell those, those elements, and we create watches with, with something we believe there should be something to, tell, to talk about. Mm -hmm. so otherwise, why would people spend 11,000, 12,000, 30,000, 100,000 on, on, on a watch? I think this, this needs to bring some, some emo emotion, connection uh, about something. And, and it's true that if we do it well, the people who wear our watches will be the mm -hmm. one telling those stories. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and the, the no logo concepts that we introduced three years ago is probably a good example. Because the first reaction of people that look at the watch is, mm, what is it? Mm. It's different. And, mm. and then you can explain why. Why is there no logo? Why, what is Moser? What do we do? And, um, and that creates this first, um, breaks the ice in, in, in a way. Mm. And, uh, and as a result, um, the people owning and, and wearing those watches are kind of... Um, Bringing the message across yeah, to message, other people. Yeah. 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 And then you introduced uh, something very uh, attractive for the eyes when you look at it. It's the fumé dials, that uh, type of dial. Uh, we have a, a sample, we have some, some watches here. I, I ask you to, to show them into the camera and then we will film on them separately. It, it's about a little bit of the history of your brand. Um, when we see these watches here, especially the Fumé dial is that kind of... A signature for Moser. Yeah. It's a sig it beca but became a signature and now it's being copied by, yeah. by, by almost... Oh, yeah, they it's, use your... It's the, it's the rule in this industry. I mean, there's, if you look at movements, nothing has been really created in the last 200 years, right? Most of the things already existed before, the complications, etc. So you, you take the risk. And this technology of, of Fumé dial, or this idea of Fumé dial, is not something that Moser inv uh, invented something that existed a long time ago that disappeared and we kind of brought it back to something kind of trendy mm -hmm. fashion i hope it's it stays like this for many for many years as many as i see meanwhile i think it must become fashion or must oh, become is. a yeah but i hope it's more than fashion i think yeah. it's really something that there's to, to stay why it became our signature is by because five years ago we had introduced the fumé dial silver fumé dial and For me, when, when I took over, I felt, oh, well, I was looking for a difference. I was looking for something that, you know, I don't want people to be able to compare my watch with somebody else 
or as little as possible. And I felt this is something that is very differ differentiating our product from anybody else. You like it or you don't, but right. it's not something that keeps you indif indifferent and that you can compare with others. And we slowly started to play with it and introducing new colors and, um, and what was you know, 5 to 10% of our sales uh, five years ago has become almost 100% of mm -hmm. what we sell mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And as a result, has become our signature. And I think, especially because we did those watches without logo, in a way, the dial has become, be, has become uh, our so signature. Yeah. It is our signature today. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we say, you know, if we create something and we remove the logo, it should still be a Mosul. Mm -hmm. People should recognize it, even mm -hmm. though it's a, sometimes just a simple, simple round case. Mm -hmm. We have two very emblematic, let me stress that word. I don't like the word emblematic too much, but it's, it's, there, there are two emblematic watches here on the, on the, on the tray. For different um, reasons. Yeah, for different reasons. <laughs> uh, first of all, this was uh, a watch I liked very much when it when it came to the market. Uh, it looks like an Apple Watch, but isn't an Apple Watch. But you said, okay, uh, why not taking the exact shape and form of an Apple Watch and integrating there a mechanical movement done in the very best way of the tradition of Swiss watchmaking? We didn't take the exact I mean, it's inspired, it's inspired by those connected watches. Yes. It's not, <laughs> you have to be careful how you say that. But uh, yeah, it's, no, it's a smart watch. It's called a Swiss Alp watch. And, yeah, uh, it's a Swiss yes. Alp watch, yeah. Exactly. It's the way how you presented the entire story was very good. There was a, there was a YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, five mm -hmm. movie, five minutes movie or no, three minutes. 90 seconds. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, okay. 90 we try to keep them, yeah. keep them short. So in case someone is looking for what's the exact thing you have to... Uh, Swiss Alp watch. I Swiss think. Alp watch if you guys want to look for and then have, have him yes, presenting it. should be. Very funny. And then the, the another emblematic... You have to present me this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, well, that's what made... One of the elements that made me fall in love with, uh, with Moser is the perpetual calendar. Um, I think it's... When we talk about smart, smart watches, that's probably the smartest watch uh, out there. It's um, it's like a mechanical computer. It's uh, it's simple. It looks extremely simple, but it actually, it's a watch with 326 components, which will know whether a month has 28, 29, 30, or 31 days. It's a lot of perpetual calendar. The difference with this one is that it's it has an instant jump at midnight. There's not a lot of things uh, moving. It's just bam at midnight. You jump from the 28th of, of February to the 1st of March, and on top of that is the, it's, it's, uh, you can move it forward and backwards at any time, even at midnight. Mm. Um, with other watches, you would most likely break everything. And for me, I consider that as the, the smartest movement in mm. the market. And for us, give us confidence that we can build something uh, on top of it uh, as, a, as a brand. It's, it's a dream to have such a movement. It's a nightmare when you need to create new movements. Yeah. Yeah. We're working on a chronograph. Wow, it's difficult to get to that level with a chronograph. Mm. And here, what's interesting is uh, this, well, you chose all blue watches, but this combination, funky blue with, uh, with Kudu, was for me, uh, I think, the, the, this particular moment where 2014 or 15, I, I can't remember, we brought these colors together and we realized that you don't have to destroy everything that has been done before, which was so great. But you can use that and just by changing and tweaking a little bit, you turn something that it was extremely classic and understated into something that is still traditional but sexy. Mm -hmm. And for me, this watch was the revelation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gave me uh, the next uh, word, blue. Um, <laughs> blue, uh, we have two other watches here on the tray. The uh, blue editions, which are not blue. The blue editions that are not blue. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, Buchera is a huge retailer in Switzerland, now also internationally it's operating, the biggest. The biggest. Just bought two nodes and uh, it's spread all over the all over the world. And you are working working very closely with uh, Bucher for many years. True. So it's one of your biggest uh, partners, I think. It's the biggest. It's the biggest. And uh, Bucher has introduced a series that uh, is or an entire world that is called Blue Editions. Blue Editions. Blue Editions include watches in blue with blue dyes and blue aspects. I say aspects because this watch is. Not blue when you look at the front, but we will show you more. And blue, this blue edition is also about the concept of lifestyle. They have uh, introduced the Harley Davidson, and they are doing more than this. It's yeah, they're introducing new products all the time. Yeah, and this is a series cool. uh, that you have been launching today. Yeah, uh, for Bucher with Bucher, and uh, yeah, Edouard. 
Uh, explain the blue edition. That is definitely not blue. <laughs> <laughs> but it's. I mean, I, I must say these are number two and number three in the in the blue editions for Moser. We had uh, back in 2015 created the blue edition in the Venture collection, and we felt now it's time to bring a, a, a new one. So we we worked with them. They um, they wanted something, as we say, we we like at Moser to be traditional, to build on the heritage. Bucho is 130 years old, we are 190 years old, and we wanted to bring something that, you know, is still sexy, but using a little bit of what, where we come from. And, uh, and that's how we wanted to, to work on our heritage collection. Moser has a heritage collection inspired by uh, pocket watches that we have at the museum that you visited this morning. Some great products, and we wanted to, uh, to, to grow around that, and uh, that's the reason why we decided to work with the, with the heritage. Simple one, three hands, um, bringing our Fumé movement, mm -hmm. uh, Fumé dial, of course. But as you said... First time Arabic? One of the first Arabic, yes. Yeah. We did a Brian Ferry, if you it's remember. No Roman, it's no Roman numerals, it's yes. Arabic numerals. But the first time we do Fumé with Arabic. Yeah. Uh, very sexy, by the way, this watch. And it's very sexy with yeah. the, the Superlumino. But uh, still no blue, huh? You're no asking blue. yourself, where's the blue? <laughs> where's the blue? But at Moser, we master the movements and we master all aspects of the, of the watch. So we wanted to, to be more subtle. And putting the blue on the front, as you see, we have a lot of blue in, the, in our collection. The blue editions have only watches with the blue on the on the front side. We said we want something different. We want something where it's subtly uh, displayed. Suddenly, once you know where it is, it's not that subtle anymore. But basically, a beautiful blue movement, uh, blue hairspring, uh, uh, blue balance wheel, a blue uh, balance wheel bridge, and blue uh, rotor. So all the things rotor, elements. Yeah. Exactly. It's in our automatic movement that we use in our entry level. This is a steel uh, collection in 42 millimeter. Uh, it's not limited, but as everything at Moser, we, you know, with our capacity, the, 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 the numbers of watches produced per year is very, very low. Do you so dare to tell our audience? I think for both, we will... We'll no, no, dare to say what, how many watches you are manufacturing? Oh, per year, yeah. um, less than 1,500. Okay, 1,500 watches only. Exactly. So you're, you're one of... Our movements. All our movements. And there's one... Uh, uh, thing you're saying, very rare. Very rare, yeah. Uh, H. Moser and company, and then you always the tagline is very rare. Yeah, very yeah rare. We, I mean, very rare is not only about quantity, it's about the idea of being independent, being integrated, um, creating a lot of limited edition mm -hmm. control production. For me, as I was telling uh, a lot of people, I consider ourselves almost like bankers. Uh, customers invest in our products and we need to protect the value. And that's a lot about controlling quantities. And uh, that's why we do it this way with limited editions, uh, limited production, so that we don't want to see many of those novelties available everywhere in the market. And that's our responsibility. The cherry on the cake. Ladies. <laughs> or not so ladies. I'll be wearing this one this morning. So, uh, but yes, it's, it's mostly, as you told me this morning, it's, it's your first really women's well, they, it's, or ladies. I uh, wanted something that we have a lot of ladies who like Moser watches, uh, but only 20% of our sales go to ladies um, due to size, due to maybe... We, we con what we consider to be sexy uh, as men is maybe not as sexy for, for, for ladies. So we worked with the Bouhoua ladies team to develop something that is inspired by the, the Moser collections, um, but is maybe a, a slightly more fem feminine. Yet I wouldn't say it's only for ladies, because we have ladies buying men's watches and we have men buying ladies' watches. But here it's the, it's the smallest we have uh, ever mm. done since 2002, 38 millimeter, yeah. uh, automatic, once again, beautiful blue, uh, the same elements as on the Heritage uh, collection. It's in the Endeavor, it's our traditional, mm. that's where we started in 2005. Beautiful curves on the side, uh, steel with the Fumé dial and uh, 61 diamonds or something. 61, yeah. Uh, a beautiful piece, um, I think, considering the reaction of, uh, of the ladies and the men, uh, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a great success. I personally think it's, um, it's what would come naturally as the next step uh, for Moser going towards more feminine uh, collections. Mm -hmm. Developing um, a feminine, purely feminine collection is very complicated and that's not something we, we master. I think it's here really responding never, to never what... Never say never. You, you yeah, know. one day. Oh. You know, I always said the same thing for developing uh, integrated uh, metal bracelet and that's something one day we will do. Um, mm. 
Never say never. You need the right people. Yeah. I'm just saying maybe it's not the thing that today yeah, yeah, I can personally yeah, yeah, yeah. find um, yeah, yeah, yeah. the solution. Yeah. Uh, I think this, but uh, in the meantime, I think this is really like the natural evolution of the of the brand. I mm-hmm. think it will work mm-hmm. perfectly for the people who appreciate what Moser is. This mm-hmm. understatement, this elegance, this sexiness, mm-hmm. but subtle. It's not in your face. It's uh, it's uh, yeah. We we try to bring a subtle elegance and sexiness yeah, yeah. in everything we do, and uh, mm-hmm. I think we uh, we achieve that with both those products. Uh, for me personally, I esteem that this watch will be also be worn on uh, ladies' wrists in Europe. Yeah, definitely. Very nice. It's, it's 42, uh, but wears much. Yeah, it seems it's much smaller, and uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be. Fant- a, it's a fantastic watch. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Was interesting to talk to you, Edouard. It's, it's always yeah. A pleasure. And uh, I think it should be also interesting for you guys watching this, that they are small companies, family-owned. You put your own money in, the money of your family. And sweat. And sweat, <laughs> yes. Uh, everything, sweat and tears and happiness, everything goes together. Yeah. Emotions. Yeah. And I, I very much like to be together with, with it's always a pleasure. people with you who really uh, aren't uh, kept by huge uh, companies, you know, or like well, we um, need both groups. Worlds. Yeah, we need both, both worlds. Yeah. We wouldn't well live without them. And uh, we like to be independent. Same thing, Buhar is a big group. Yeah. And they're independent, but I, I like this dependence. Yeah, to be yeah. able to work with them, and I think they like working mm. with small companies like ours. Mm. And, you know, it has a huge effect on, on the growth of, and the awareness around the, the brand. Mm. And we will continue. We have a lot of surprises, and I hope we see you at SIGH. Of course we see we each other's SIGH. More, more and uh, if you guys are interested, wants to buy a watch that probably has no logo, looks different, if you're mature enough or ready for such watch, Moser would be a good proposition in my eyes. <laughs> I like what you're doing. Um, an alternative. Anyway, thank you very much, Edouard. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like what we are doing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and, of course, to like our videos. And if you have any comments to make here underneath, there is the comment section. Please type your comments and I will answer. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.